Okay, welcome to segment two of LEDs and now I'm going to show you how to set hook two LEDs up with one power supply and it's roughly the same principle as the previous uh, previous ones where you have a you have a resistance drop across your LEDs and you have your your power your voltage drop across them as well. I'm using two ultraviolet uh, high brightness ultraviolet LEDs. They're rated at 3.2 volts, uh, typical all the way up to 3.8 volts. I'm going to run them at 3 volts each and show you how to do that. As before, your positive and your negative. Positive is always the longer one. I'm going to set that one up here. And I'm going to run these in. I'm gonna run these in series, since uh, everything. Uh, yeah, run these in series to show you how the voltage drop goes across them. So, so let me redo this again. Um, that was my negative. So, hook him up here and here. And then when you go series, you want to go positive to negative on your series circuit when you do your series circuits. Reason being is it's in series, so your resistance is additive. So right here is our negative, positives in the middle. This is going to be our our positive negative here, and then our positive leads over here. Then we take and put another jumper on. And I don't like that link, so let's try and find this. There we go. Sometimes it helps with these breadboards if you use a small pair of needle nose. Especially if you got big gigantic hands like myself. Alright, got that set up. Now I'm gonna use six volts to drive both of these LEDs. Six volts here, each one will drive two uh will drive two uh or three volts each. And let's hook it up. Doop. And I forget. Uh, this is a uh, four AAA batteries. I picked it up at Radio Check today. It's a little on off switch. There you go. You can run six volts, uh, two LEDs. Now you can run, you got to make sure you have enough voltage to run your LEDs. Now I could run both of these in parallel uh, with six volts but I'd have to add probably had a resistor in there to make sure that it's getting th each one's going to get three volts and also it'll probably draw a little bit less uh, it might draw a little bit more current or a little bit less current and stuff um, also since we have that there I'm going to move the camera real quick and show you here is a website that has uh, it's called the calculator on it you put in your supply voltage you put in your voltage drop across your LEDs, your milliamps on your LEDs, and then how, how many LEDs you want in series. That's just a little schematic showing you how everything should be set up. And when you do that, it will show you what you need. So what I'm going to show you right now on the video is I'm going to change this. I'm going to do two LEDs, but I'm going to up my supply voltage to 9 volts. Plus, I want to put three... I'm going to put the... 3.2 typical voltage on these and click to calculate and if you look further down it's telling me I need a 130 ohm resistor uh, 130 ohms is ideal but you can go to the nearest highest rate is 150 ohms so you only need one resistor and then also uh, here's your wattage uh, 0.05 watts say pick a resistor power rating of 0 0.09 so Roughly a quarter watt, eighth watt, or half watt uh, resistor. When you when you look to buy resistors, a lot of them will have a little fraction. That's usually their wattage, their power rating. I usually go with quarter quarter watt to half watts, and then it's usually fine. All right, so reposition this up here, like so. All right, now since I want to do that, I'm going to turn those off. Pull that out. 
and since I want to do um, I want to run them in parallel I will be able I'll do it this way positive negative here's my positive here's my negative I'll actually I'll kind of re reverse these a little bit put one here okay and put one here now the reason I'm doing it this way is they're going to be in parallel and I'm going to run them off a 9 volt battery so let's come over here to my handy dandy um, kit with all my resistors in it look for 100 it's on one of my 10 counts 150 ohms and here comes the fun part we get to try and find a 150 ohm resistor out of all these since I don't have them labeled yet uh, so you can mess around and play around with your resistance. Um, all right, welcome to segment two of Custom Celebration, how to install and work on LEDs. Um, right now, I'm going to show you how to pretty much set up here, 9-volt battery with two LEDs in parallel and a 150K ohm resistor. There's a site that I use. I'll, I'll post a link for it where you just put in your your voltage, um, your voltage drop, your milliamps, and how many LEDs you want to connect in series or parallel, and I'll tell you the exact resistor you need. Um, so, if everything's hooked up, and here's a close-up of how everything looks. It hopefully comes into view. Um, pretty much how everything everything's hooked up pretty simple right now. Um, I'll show you how to do it with just wiring and stuff, not prototyping on the board. Alright, set that back up there and pretty much just I'm going to connect a battery. And there you go, that's 9 volts. Uh, two LEDs at 9 volts. Um, it's a pretty simple uh, setup. This will probably work a lot better. Um, for people that are using, you know, going to do headlights or multiple LEDs. Uh, something that uh, was, you know, I do want to bring your attention. Sometimes it will, they, some stuff will get hot. I mean, these aren't really hot right now because there's a lot of air moving through. But in enclosed areas, they do tend to get hot at times. They're not going to melt plastic or anything. It's just something to be aware of. Also, um, like I said in the uh, previous video, I'm going to do some mods to one of these, a couple of these vehicles and actually install these lights into one of these vehicles um, I have taken apart and set in here. So that's parallel, two LEDs in parallel. It's pretty straightforward um, for wiring and everything. Uh, and let's see here, pull those out. Set them over there. Now you can use a nine volts like I said before, you can use 9 volts, you got to watch your resistance. You can use 9 volts to power one battery pretty much, or one LED all day long. It's kind of overkill. You're going to use a, you'll use a higher resistor to do it. That way you don't blow it with your voltage drop and everything across it. Um, that's pretty much it for, you know, basic uh, setting LEDs and stuff up. And see, you got that sitting there. And that's pretty much it for segment two on multiple LEDs. You can add, you can add a string of however many you want. As long as you, if they're in series, you gotta make sure you have the right amount of uh, supply voltage. Like a nine volt, you could you could put three, uh, three volt or run three volts across three LEDs as long as they can handle it, and you wouldn't even need a resistor. Um, 